Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello -y. my name is Loey, and I think you already know what time it is, but we are going to dive back into the scary, spooky, and most haunted corners of our favorite short form content app, TikTok. How is your summer going? Are you going on any fun trips? Are you doing anything really exciting? Are you just staying at home? For me, I have a few fun things planned, but mostly I'm staying at home and making some cool videos for you guys. But you know I love to hear what you're up to, so let me know down below. I have for you 20 TikToks from the scary side of TikTok. I don't even necessarily know if they're all haunted or paranormal. I guess I'm gonna find out with you because I tried this in my last like glitch in the Matrix TikTok video and you guys really seem to like it. So I want to do more of these where I like watch the TikToks with you, kind of like I do on my streams, which by the way, I stream every single Sunday. If you like watching spooky stuff, maybe you'd want to do it live with me, but these videos sort of feel like that. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok at LoeyBuckXO, both because I love when you guys tag me in your scary TikTok finds, um, but also because we're only like 10k away from hitting 500,000 followers over there. I'm really, really excited, so if you could give me a follow, I'd really appreciate it. Before I show you the horrifying TikToks that I have to share with you today, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. I feel like everybody's been talking about Timu and ordering cool products from there, but Timu is an online shop that carries just about any product you can possibly imagine. From the plus size clothing finds I'm gonna show you today, all the way to household items, Timu has a little something for everybody and at incredibly affordable prices. I got a couple things from the website I really wanted to show you, some plus size clothing finds, some just like household finds. First off, I have this set, I'm wearing the top for it right now. It is like this white plus size two-piece set with little pink crosses on it. Here's the skirt. I'm only wearing the top. I'm going to show it to you in the try-on portion, but oh my god, so freaking cute. I love it so much, and you're going to die over this, but like I got this purse to go with it. Is that not so cute with the matching crosses and stuff? And this bag is so freaking nice. I love it. And then I got these like shelf bra shirts and I thought these would be really good now that it's getting quite hot here. I got this one in like a grayish color, this pink version. It's like a hot pink one. The padding in these is like really substantial. Like it's like a full pad. So quite a few comfy summery finds and then I have a few more items in this tote which is also from Timu. It is already covered in dog hair because I've been using it. I got this cute little heart lamp and I love it so much. It's just like a red heart on this little like pedestal. This honestly was so sinking cute and then I saw just like an unpainted white version so I got both. One of my favorite Timu finds so far has been these absolutely incredible like 40 ounce stainless steel mugs. I have this gorgeous Barbie pink color and then also a purple to silver gradient. These suckers literally sell online under brand names for like $40. Like $40 and you can get them on Timu for 10, which is like a fourth of the price and it's a really cute cup. It's kept my waters pretty cold for the last few days as I've been using it. Download the Timu app today to get free shipping on your orders and you can also use my code. I'll have it listed out right here. It's DKF 5459 and that will get you 50% off of your first Timu order. Also, you can click the link in my description box down below to get a $100 coupon bundle. Thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video and now let's get into the TikToks. My neighbors are having a really juicy combo outside. <laughs> the first video is from El Kukui TV and it's captioned, which pretending to be a cat stalks this lady. So many of you tagged me in this. It took a lot for me not to watch it, but we're gonna watch it for the first time together. She said, guys, there's something in the back. We can hear it. Who are you? That you does sound like a cat. She said you're not a cat, that's a person. This is absolutely terrifying. Who are you? Just repeatedly asking me like, who are you? I'm recording you, who are you? It's like so clearly a person. Why are they meowing? 
You're not a cat. You're not a cat. The door opened. The door opened. Oh my god. The door opened. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And something is knocking. Oh my god. The like door handle is like down. Maybe that's just the way it is. I thought somebody was on the other side like holding it like that, you know? The cops are coming. This, this has me flabbergasted. Who are you looking for? <laughs> she said, why me? Vete de aquí. Se paró. ¿Quién chingados eres? ¿Quién te mandó? Who are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. And it just ends there. At the end, like slowing down the footage, it almost looks like something was like thrown at them. I thought it was the woman running towards them, but it kind of looks like a small like box or something was like thrown to scare them. I have no explanation for that. Like, why was somebody crawling around? This woman's home, meowing like a cat. You can hear how scared that they are when these two women speak too. Even the poor girl uh, at one point, the woman says, who do you want? Do you want Regina? And the other girl says, why me? Like they genuinely sound freaked out. That one really was creepy, but now we're gonna watch this from uh, the Hall family 2018. And it says, caught this on my ring camera last night. Caught this on my ring camera last night. Oh. oh, what was that? And why did it look like an entire go? Oh, it's still going. Oh, it's still going. It really looked like a whole person flipped out of that hammock, like fell onto the ground and then just took off and low key got the zoomies. You can literally see rings of smoke these puffs of smoke, it looks like something is flying away. Is there a logical explanation for that? What could that possibly have been? I like to think it's a ghost who's just utilizing the amenities that it has around it. Like, you know, it's, it's living with all these people who can buy things like a hammock and the ghost is like, well, if I'm stuck here, I might as well lounge around. Since we tan in the sun, ghosts probably get paler in the moonlight, so they're probably just laying out there, like in little ghosty sunglasses, like, mm, yes, let me work on this beautiful astral sheen of mine. <laughs> this next one is from Gianna's POVs, and Gianna apparently has a very weird story about a teddy bear that I believe she thrifted that's now having some very, very unsettling paranormal activity around it get ready with me while i tell you guys about him he's a very handsome bear so i got very that teddy handsome. bear about two or one and a half years ago and i got that teddy bear from an antique shop because you know those teddy bears are literally like a hundred dollars and i got it for 30 i think it was literally just a regular like okay. antique like thrift store it was like nothing special well i originally got it for my boyfriend at the time but then he ended up just like not taking it home so like i was like gonna throw it away because that big thing like was literally doing me no justice it was literally just okay. sitting there y'all wait to the videos hold on i feel like the boyfriend not taking it it's like did he clock a vibe like why did he not take it you know what i mean i already have questions the noggins turn in so i was cleaning up my basement my entire family was out of town and i go to sleep and i have like this weird dream the dream was low-key stupid it was literally that i just was trying to throw away the bear and i put it in the like dumpster and it just showed up next to me like and then you know we fought and oh that's won. creepy that's was, so it was like stupid. a little stupid like it was kind of scary when i was dreaming of it but anyways it's literally that been sitting scary. in my egg chair for about a year nothing's happened people would always be like the bear just moved and you know mm -hmm. typical teenagers i'm literally like shut up like y'all are weird anyways literally the other day i was talking about throwing it away again because again i've had it for a year literally i've done nothing with it well i end up leaving to take my friend home and i come back it's literally been in the living room for about a year and it was in my room on my bed but i literally have a million siblings so i didn't really think anything of it i mean they'd literally never come down here but i was like 
they probably came down here and messed with something you know like i don't know well i was literally I mean, about real. to take like that everything makes to the trash it was sitting on my bed because i didn't touch it i haven't touched it since it moved to my bed and i'm making a tiktok and i don't rewatch my tiktoks before i post it because everything i post like when i'm looking at myself i'm like you're embarrassing you're literally so embarrassing who do you think <laughs> you are so i just like i don't watch it before i, I post that. it well like two hours later i'm going through my comments and everybody's like the bear moved the bear moved not just like a wind moved like the head went Please tell me I'm f tripping. Oh. Just watch this slow down. Somebody please tell me, like, what would you guys do? Like, I literally had a dream that if I tried to throw it away, it would try to kill me. I, like, usually don't and even, now like, acknowledge moving. any of this kind of stuff because I'm like, that's so fake. So I was low-key being a baby and I didn't even sleep home last night because I was scared and it was laying down before I left. My siblings claim they didn't touch it, but they always lie. Understandable. So. I don't know. That is really weird. The dream followed by the head moving on camera. Like, maybe it just kind of fell over. You know what I mean? Like, maybe there was some weight there that fell over. But honestly, I'm so superstitious and so freaked out by that kind of stuff. I'd probably keep the bear forever. Locked in, like, a glass box or something like that. Like, that's really creepy. I want to know what you guys think about that one. Do we have a haunted bear on our hands or is there just, like, not enough information? I can see how I would think it was haunted if that had happened to me. But it's also so possible that the bear's head just like fell. But it is weird because if you haven't touched it, like how is it moving? You know, I, I, I get that it's really strange. I am curious what you guys think though. The next one is from Vegan Riz and I've seen so many videos now from this account. So I have to know what this original one or one of the original ones was because Everybody was tagging me in this. Something creepy happened when I got home. Okay. I'm driving down the street, and my daughter's bedroom light is on. So I'm like, that's weird because she's at her dad's house for a couple nights. She's Eerie. not home. So I parked my car right over here. And when I park my car, I see her bedroom curtains are oh, also open. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So weird. Yes. Out, right? And my doors were locked. But my house was built in like 1910. So I was like, I hope it's a ghost and someone didn't, you know, break in or something. So I have to actually go in my house mm. right now and I'm recording it because I'm I get scared. It. I get it, man. Honestly, the horrors of living alone or the horrors of having the house to yourself when you're like kind of creeped out like that, it's just unfathomable. I totally understand. I have to live it every single day. It's the worst. <sighs> All right, so here we go. I'm like shaking right now. Like my hormones are, like my adrenaline is going again. Like I have to go up my creepy dark stairs. None of the lights are on upstairs. This is not fun. And you know I've been hearing weird sh in the attic, bro. Oh no. <gasps> oh my God, it's so dark. Just turn on some lights, Spooky. turn on some lights, turn on some lights, I'm begging. That's her room. Oh, that looks terrifying. Turn the light on. I don't know which way I should point the camera. Bro, I'm freaked out. I'm going to go in my bedroom first. Turning the light on. Okay, in okay, here. okay. Ah. What are we looking like? Why isn't it turning on? Okay. We're good. Slay. It's scary. Dude, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> it is so weird, but hopefully it was just left on. It's like normal in here. earlier. But her painting fell. Oh. This painting she made was hanging on the wall and that fell. Weird. Her chair that belongs to her desk is here. I'm gonna look in her closet. Ew, 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 ew. That's some crazy wallpaper. Everything's normal. I'm gonna shut her light off. Like the LED lights are on in my other daughter's room and those always go on. Dude, it was creepy. I'm looking behind the shower curtain. Ha! Nothing there. Nothing, nothing throughout the house. Weird. Okay. Yeah, creepy. Like that light was off last night. I was here in my house sleeping. I hate when that light is on because if I close my door and the light is on, it shines through this crack. Yeah, I get. It's yeah. Ghost. It's like my really house was built in like 1906, not 1910, 1906. I completely understand that. When a light comes on that you know shouldn't be on, that's honestly such a scary feeling. I just had that happen to me recently. 
Okay, so when I got off of stream this past Sunday, I had played Outlast with a friend of mine, and then when I got off, another friend of mine FaceTimed me just to be like, how was the game, like whatever. And I'm talking to this friend of mine, and I end up like going into my room, and I'm like, oh, actually, I should go let the cats out of their bedroom. The third bedroom of my house is entirely my cat's bedroom. I do use it for other things, but for the most part, it has like their toys, their cat trees, their um, food, their litter, like it has everything in there in a place where my dogs can't get to it. It's like behind a baby gate, whatever. And I close them in there when I stream because they like will walk all over my keyboard and it becomes a whole mess. So I tell my friend on the phone, I'm like, I'm gonna go let out the cat. So I take him on FaceTime with me and I go to the room of my house where I know I put my cats in and the door is open and the light is still off. That's what's weird. If I had gone in there, it was now like kind of dark outside. So I would have turned the light on. You know what I mean? It was really, really weird because I told him on the phone, I was like, you didn't see me go to that room and open the door. And he's like, no, you never went to the room and opened the door. But my cats, like basically the, the door had just opened. Like they were just coming out of their room, just waking up from like the nap or whatever that they had taken. And it was so freaking weird. But I do have a ghost named Paul. He's a house ghost. He takes care of the house. And um, he's honestly just really nice. I think he was probably just helping me out and letting the kitties out for me. Isn't that creepy though? I feel like I should do another paranormal update. What do you think? Next, we have a TikTok from Smug Puppy. It's been a while since I've looked at some of these TikToks. I want to do a full like video talking about this account and some other creepy TikTok accounts, but I haven't gotten to it yet. This account has the craziest paranormal activity I've pretty much ever seen on TikTok. It also says totally terror stricken. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, I know. <laughs> Not what we expected, but. What? I guess the ghost is like playing with the toy. Maybe it's not. Well, no, 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 Oh, the painting. <gasps> oh, no. Mom, Dad, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. <laughs> Let me get out. Dad, he's chasing me. This is a ghost Dad, crumbling. Dad, no. <laughs> Got you all. Oh, God. Something bit me. Oh, it just felt like teeth. He has like five bite marks. That just felt like teeth. Uh, to cut the camera off. At the end, he has so many bite marks on his arm, and I'm like zooming in on this, and it really does look like bite mark indents, which is kind of crazy. They also get more visible as the video goes on, which is really weird. That's interesting. I'm gonna be really honest. I think that this account, Smug Puppy as a whole, has to be just one massive storytelling thing because it routinely like they catch things on camera that I just don't know if you could ever even fully look at and not know it was like edited or something like that. But that one was really weird. That one was weird, that one was creepy, but the growl and then the bite marks, um, very weird. I don't know what they're experiencing. Next is a TikTok from King Clairvoyant who is stitching a video of this tree with a face. Um, and basically this poster has a story to tell, I think that's kind of relevant to that. Egg. There's a reason why my family, who is from the mountains in the Caribbean, don't want to go back. There's a reason why they tell us, when the sun is coming down, you go home. There is a reason why they say, you see something? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Get your ass home. If the dog don't want to go, you don't go. If the forest is quiet, you're in danger. Oh, when you see things like this. Mm, that's freaky. It, that's a freaky thought. It, you don't speak to it. You don't move a damn pebble. You reverse backwards and you go about your day. And you don't talk about it until you're out. 
until you're out, until you're far. Real, understandable. If I saw a whole face in a tree, I probably wouldn't talk about it until I left either. The forest thing is really creepy because I'm gonna show you a video later where the forest goes really silent and then we see something and it's honestly one of my favorite scary TikToks I've ever watched. It's like the only TikTok that I pre-watched for this and it's because it, it's literally one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in my life. I could not force myself to look away, but that's kind of at the end. For now, we're gonna watch a TikTok from Avery After Dark. This is some of the most chilling paranormal footage ever. In 2018, a man was hired to remodel a North Carolina home built in the early 1900s. Oh boy. But shortly after he started, okay. he noticed some strange things around the home. Hearing noises, mysterious sounds, he assumed there was a squatter living there. So one day he decided to record himself walking around the home and capture That's how it starts. A squatter Hello? is terrifying. Oh, we've watched this before. Hello? It's been a while since we watched this video. I didn't know that he had bought this house. I thought he was just doing construction work there. Oh, that's a really creepy. Who is it? The fact that this person I forgot about the phone moving too. Oh my God, that's so scary. So something was very clearly there. You can almost... That is one of the creepiest clips I've ever watched in he my life. He said he never returned to the home as he believed there was something evil in that house. I would never go back either. Would you? The fact that like, it scared him to the point where he quite literally never wanted to go back. Makes me think he believes something really terrible was there. The next one is from Connor uh, Hesse and it reads, me if my kids started seeing ghosts. Have a good night, okay? Dad, who's the lady in the corner in the white dress crying and saying that I'm her baby and she's gonna kill you? <laughs> This one just made me laugh really hard and I just wanted to share it with you. That's why I'm not ready to have kids either, is I'm not ready for them to start seeing ghosts. I was a terror as a child. I told my parents about the ghostly encounters that I'd have on like a weekly basis. I'm not ready to deal with that. Not ready to think about any of that. I'll stick with my fur children, thank you. Speaking of kids seeing ghosts, we have another TikTok from Iron Sanctuary where he talks about his kid seeing Something that he can't see. Tell me why my daughter stood up out of the bath, looked past me down into the dark hallway, and waved and said hi. She's been doing that in that spot. Viola, do we have a ghost? Yeah? I know when she starts talking, she's going to be like, oh yeah, I like that friend that I talk to every night in the dark hallway. Is that true? <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, I'm sure his kid is seeing something, but maybe be grateful that they're too young to tell you exactly what it is that they're seeing. The next one is from La Caja Fantasma. The subtitles are in Spanish, um, but the person is talking in English throughout the video. Hey, so we are just moving in. Literally, it's such a mess. I'm sorry. I would not think this was creepy, this except for the music house. that's very clearly creepy and in the background. My daughter has been talking to an imaginary friend. Okay. Except for, it feels really real. Obviously, it's an imaginary friend, but it's been weirding me out. And. I'm wondering if something is triggering it or why it's happening. Imaginary so, friends I can understand would be really creepy, now. but now there's a camera. And I'm just gonna let it run and we'll see. This oh boy. is what the camera uh, picked up, captured, whatever. So oh, the little girl. And I'm, I'm freaked out. 
So the little girl is just sitting on the floor playing with toys, but this is a bizarre bub video. This could be edited footage, like this could be footage with this audio over it. Um, or this all could have been submitted exactly like this to Bizarre Bub. I watch Bizarre Bub videos on stream pretty regularly, so I just wanted to throw that out there. I really don't know what to make of this. This looks beautiful bunny. The most beautiful bunny? What do you want to I don't know what she's saying. Do you want to play? Do you want to sleep? Do you want to sleep? She asked. My God. I was not expecting that. I have chills. I have chills. I have chills. She. It sounds like something was right against the camera. But now she's like moving. Okay, she thinks it's weird, too. She thinks it's so creepy, I think she's gonna leave, too. Okay, thank God. Do not stay in there with it, small child, please. I beg. Okay, so I did not know when or how or if I was going to talk about the whole debacle with the lady getting off the plane because she saw somebody on the flight that wasn't real. I'm sure every single one of you knows what I'm talking about. So this is apparently like a reversed video, I think, to give you more of a look at the not real person, but I don't really see who it is at any point during this. I just wanted to show you the original clip so we could talk about the fear in the woman's voice and then get on to the next video. So here's the first one. I'm telling you, I'm getting the fuck off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the fuck off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two fucks, but I am telling The way the entire plane turns to look continues to send me into orbit. So I don't know what I think about that. I've heard everything from she was potentially like maybe she took something before she got on the flight or it could be mental health related. She could have um, done a myriad of things. But what I think is really interesting is TikTok's response to it specifically. The rest of the internet was kind of clowning on this lady, like especially on Twitter and stuff, they were talking about like how she had to just be on some kind of drugs or something like that. TikTok, from everything I've seen, and I do recognize that because I watch a lot of scary TikToks, maybe this is just the narrative of this story that I've been fed, um, and that's, you know, all I see is my own timeline. But for the most part, it feels like people think that she saw genuinely something that wasn't real, that they genuinely do think it's paranormal, that it could be like something really creepy. And there's this person who duetted the video I just showed you. Her name is Allo Rate Faria. I'll have her username spelled out right here. I have no idea how to say it. But she basically told her own personal story of a shapeshifter in this duet or in the stitch, whatever it is. If you guys have been keeping up with this situation, a lot of people believe that this young lady in this video saw a shapeshifter mm -hmm. on that flight. Now, I don't know this young lady and I was not on the flight, but I do have a story to share. Over 10 years ago now, I used to work for Walmart. And around Christmas time, there was this lady who would come in and every time she came in, she would be singing um, like gospel music. But she would be singing it to the top of her lungs. Like we would hear her wherever we were in the store. She literally would come in singing these songs to the top of her lungs. And every single time she would come in, she would get the same thing, a bundle of bananas. That's it. 
oh my so coming this to Walmart for the day, bananas kind of weird. She comes in and she's singing, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. But for some reason, like in my spirit, the song as she was singing it to me felt as though she was kind of singing it in a taunting way. Like, it's me. It's me, oh Lord. Like, if you if you get what I'm trying to say. So I get this like weird feeling inside of me because I am a strong believer in the Lord, Christ, Jesus, God, big G-O-D. So as she begins to walk past my register, we kind of lock eyes. And in my head, I'm like, this is weird. Like, I just got a very uneasy feeling. And when she looked over at me, I shit you not, the entire white of her eyes went black. Like the, oh, the inside of her scary. eyes just spread. And she like kind of smirked. Children. So Maybe me being a believer, I immediately pointed at her and I said, and I started praying. I, I can't tell you the prayer that I said now because it literally was something that just came out of me. And I was like, I know what you are, you know, and I, I went into prayer. So when I do this, this woman starts back walking, but her head is still turned towards me. I can't say that her eyes were looking at me because they were completely black. So I couldn't take, like, I don't know, but her head was still facing me as she began to walk off. So at this point, I have like goosebumps on my arm, everything. I look over at one of my coworkers and we lock eyes. And before I could say anything, she was like, I saw that too. Me being a believer and um, very spiritually crazy. inclined, I've run into a lot of different types of entities that I notice immediately. And when I see them, it's like people, people really don't see them the way that I am clearly seeing them. So when I saw this video, it was kind of triggering to me. I don't know what I believe about the lady on the airplane. I feel like I literally... I just, I feel like with things like that, it can get really dangerous to start to be like, well, it clearly was paranormal because you never know what somebody's going through or like what they're experiencing and she's not really here to tell us herself. So I don't know, but I thought that story was really creepy. Next is from The Haunted Five. And basically this has a really long intro that I'm gonna kind of explain to you before we get started. This dad who is working in a construction area is like taking a video to show to his kids later. The poster is in like that equipment, you know, the big bulldozer thingies with the the shovels, I don't really know what they're called, but he's in one of those when suddenly it feels like he hits something. And what I'm gonna play you is what he saw in the rear view camera. And it's really weird. No, 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 no. There's literally nothing there. Oh, that was really weird. Oh, that was really, really weird. If that was like real and not a hoax and not something that guy just got his friend's album filmed, that is the creepiest stuff I've ever seen in my life. Next, we have two TikToks of this girl's story. Her name is Jow's World. In this first clip, she's very clearly super distressed. And I just wanna like throw that out there that she's very upset. She's very clearly freaked out. To me, it really like made me believe her story that much more. But just as a heads up to anyone um, who could be upset about that. Yeah, she's super freaked out. I'm so scared right now. Poor thing. I've I've been there. I've been that scared before. I completely understand. It's one in the morning, and my boyfriend is at work. It's just me and my son, and even scarier I, when you have a baby at home. I just heard keys. I, I just hear keys open my door. So I'm thinking he might have come home early. He don't supposed to get off till tomorrow. So I hear like, I hear movement. I hear jiggling. I hear keys. Okay. And I hear movement in the living room. Now my son's room is across from our room. And we have motion lights in there for him. So when he wake up at night and Casey crawl out, crawl out the bed. I'm about to show y'all. Completely dark. Poor thing. You can hear how scared she is in her voice. To activate the 
the motion light. Okay, right? okay, motion sensor light. There's two of them. Which, if I cut off my bathroom light. Oh, that's a terrifying I can visual. See that light on from my room, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. So, I'm thinking he went in there to check on the baby because mm-hmm. he do that. He always come in the house no matter what time it is and he check on him first. After a good, maybe like five minutes, I don't hear him moving no more. So, I'm like, damn, is he going to come in the room? Like, you know, like, <laughs> me and the baby in the room, I know he didn't see the baby. I get up. <laughs> And I go out oh, here. Oh, God, for her. <laughs> and ain't nobody here, y'all. There's nobody here. Worst thing. I can imagine that would be so scary. Ain't nobody here. In a I new place. All the ways I'm walking around the house. There's nobody f- here. And she heard the keys okay, and she saw the motion sensor. I heard keys. I oh, heard my gosh. in my living room. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Like. Mm-mm. Not at all. Not crazy at all. I heard this. Sh- Clear as day. Yeah. Clear as fuck day. Not a dream. And there's nobody here but me and my son. <laughs> there was an update, and I'm immediately going to watch that because I need to hear what happened next and, and how she is and how her baby is because that video honestly just broke my heart. I felt so bad for that woman in a brand new apartment by herself like with her baby she hears keys she sees the motion sensor light go off clearly you would think someone's there it's clearly the odds of someone being there after those things happening make way more sense than no one being there but here's the update thank you to everybody who was actually um concerned and um you know about my well-being it was a lot of comments on there i was seeing people were saying like oh she need to get a weapon like you need to get a gun which yes that is true i do need to get a weapon i do need to get a gun but it was nothing in my house nobody in my house when i got up like so getting a weapon who who i'm shooting mm-hmm. the ghost casper i mean yeah. nobody was there so yeah. that didn't make sense to me i knew and i did exactly what i was supposed to do i prayed I prayed and that's the reason why when I got on there I was crying so bad because I was rebuking it up out of my apartment. I had already knew once I got up and I ain't seen nothing, nobody, and I I prayed. I prayed before I even called my boyfriend and I thought it was him. I was praying, 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 praying. Oh my gosh, praying. And then I did got on TikTok and called my boyfriend and everything else and no it was not him. He was yeah. still at work. Oof. So I don't know who it was. Awful. I don't know what it was. I don't do the sage and all of that. I do holy oil, anointing oil. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Hey, whatever know, works for you. Yeah. So thank you for everybody checking on me, all y'all concerns. Like, that just scared the shit out of me. Like, Understandably. I will be moving when my lease is up. Okay? I'm really curious if anything else has happened since because these updates were posted really closely back to back at the time of filming this. The first one had only come out like three days ago when I like pulled this video from TikTok and then the second one had just come out. So I will keep an eye on this poster. I'm sending her so many well wishes, her and her family and sending them positive vibes and positive thoughts. I just, especially if you just move into a place, there can always be so much like residual energy there. So. Maybe it's as simple as somebody who thinks it's still their home, you know, who's passed on and maybe doesn't know it yet, coming into their apartment, having their keys, stepping into a room and being like, why is there a crib in here? This doesn't look like my room. You know what I mean? So maybe it's that simple. I hope there's nothing else to it and that there are no other scary updates because... Again, I just felt so bad for her. Remember earlier when I said I had a TikTok to show you where the woods suddenly went quiet and something crazy happened? This is from Moto Owens, Moto Owens. (laughs) It's unbelievable and you just have to watch it for yourself. I have been thinking about this clip for days. Since the minute that I saw it, I have not been able to get this video out of my mind. Just wait till the end. I don't like this at all. Oh God, there's even more bones than last time. Looks like we've already it's passed a it a while ago, but that tree is gone. I'm probably going to turn around soon. This is such a satisfying video until it gets scary. Like, I loved watching the footage on the late. dirt bike. Holy crap, dude. This trail going on forever. It's silent. 
it just got really quiet really fast. Oh my god, not the kickstart! Not the kickstart, stop! Oh, that was impressive, that was impressive. Get out, go. That was my cue to leave. Yeah. What was this? Oh, I very unfortunately think you know what it is. And I don't think you should have looked that closely. I love seeing clips like this, but I always do just worry about these people afterwards because how do you go on? after seeing a clip like that. Like I said, I've been thinking about that clip ever since I saw it. I have no idea what the context is. I have no idea what like tree he was talking about or if he does this regularly and sees creepy things, but like that genuinely scared me so badly. I do not know when I will go into the forest next. Not that I'm swimming in woods in Los Angeles, but you know what I mean? Like. That one got to me pretty bad. Now, since we had a bit of a shapeshifter story earlier, I thought I would also show this one from Amanda, please. And it's captioned, shapeshifter at work. This is a long clip. We've had a lot of long clips in this video, but I, I have a feeling the payoff will be worth it. I don't know what this is about at all. I'm going in just as blind as you. So we have a shapeshifter at work and we're all kind of freaked out. And a I don't know what to do about it. Let me tell you how I know it's a shapeshifter. Please do. So a couple days ago, I was taking out the trash with my coworker and I was standing next to her by the door. So she was on my right side by the door mm -hmm. and our shoulders were touching and we we're looking out to see if the um, bins are full. Okay. And we work like right next to a Goodwill, so um, there was a bunch of nice furniture out by our dumpsters and we were like, let's go check it out. But next thing I know, she opens the door and walks back into the building and I'm like, oh, okay. So I follow her in and I go and close all the doors. So um, through the outside, it's locked and nobody can get in. <laughs> and so once I get to the second door, I started to think, I was like, wow, normally she like waits for me in this part of the room. Uh, maybe she's gonna scare me. So I go to the second door and I peek in and then nobody's there. And then all of a sudden I hear on the walkie, Amanda, why did you lock me out? And I'm like, what? And so I go back outside and I see my coworker like far along nope. where this ramp is. Nope. She like no, towards no. the middle of the ramp. And I'm looking at her like, how did you get over there? And she's like, Amanda, I've been here the entire time. I was wondering why you just left me here. And I'm like, what do you mean? You were just right here next to me and you walked right into the building. So I just followed you. And she's like, Amanda, that wasn't me. And I'm like- <laughs> That's so scary. And so I'm like, trying to think of what the heck just happened. I was like, did I follow a ghost? Was there a glitch in the matrix? Did I like shift realities for a second? Like I was Yeah, was it confused. like? And then not too long after that, my coworker, uh, was one of like my other coworkers another reality? was in the back. Like, I don't know. And he was all by himself and he heard a woman say hello. And when he turned around and said yes, there was nobody there and he was like all freaked out and he told me about it because I told him what happened when we were back there. And then I oh, no. come in today another one. and talk to my other coworker okay. and she's like, dude, that spirit or whatever is still here because um, Great. it was pretending to be a coworker she opened with. She was like, I saw him standing outside of the front door staring at all the cars. And then next thing, like I know, like a second later, I like turn and I see him coming up from the back, like hallway. And she was, just, she looked back at where he, what she thought he was standing at and he disappeared and he was coming up. Like the real him was coming up. And she's like, were you just outside? And he's like, no, I was in the back. So this thing, is a freaking shapeshifter. I That's know terrifying. it. This is not just a normal ghost. And I don't know what to do. It keeps pretending to be us. So now I'm just waiting. That's terrifying. Until I actually work. fully oh become face-to-face -face with this thing. Because I was next to it 
I saw the back of it and it looked like my coworker, but I haven't seen this thing face to face. And I don't want to think about that at all. Like, what do I do? I don't want to think about that at all. The thing is, it knows I'm onto it. So this is going to be interesting. I had a piece of hair in my lip gloss that entire time if you saw me doing weird things with my mouth, but I've heard of shape-shifting stories and I think it's so weird that like, routinely whatever that is if it's a mimic if it's like a shape shifter if it's like whatever you only see the back of its head i don't think you're meant to see the face because you would know something is wrong and i think it's so eerie that no one ever sees a face i don't even want to know what it would look like that one creeped me out really really badly there are a lot of like long stories in this one that just are like killing me to the freaking bone today. Next up, we have a video from Tati's Creepy Stories, and the caption that I see says, I think we may have actually captured a photo of La Llorona, so. I think we may have actually captured a photo of La Llorona. But quick Much little backstory before I show you guys the you know. photo. This story was submitted by Vivian. I went ahead and tagged her. One night, Vivian's husband okay. and her cousin were up okay, late okay, playing okay. with the Xbox. Vivian's husband was at home with her and her cousin was at his house. They were both just sitting there talking through the mic when they both decided to go outside and smoke a cigarette. At which point, Vivian's husband decided to call her cousin through FaceTime. So as they're out there- This is gonna be so weird, I can already tell. Forth, Vivian's cousin notices that his cat is acting okay. weird. His whole body's like hunched over. I'll show you guys a picture. And the hairs mm, in the back of his like neck. Like classic are scared up. cat. Yeah. He figures that probably a dog got into his yard. So he decided to walk down towards the driveway to see if he could see anything. Okay. But of course, he couldn't see anything. At which point, he heard a woman scream. His first instinct was to drop to the ground right on his stomach and start crawling towards his house. I mean, he was terrified crazy part about the whole thing was that vivian's husband who was on facetime with him did not hear the scream oh that's Once weird got back to the porch he told her husband what happened and decided to flip the camera in the direction that the scream came from her husband of course could not see anything but decided to take a screenshot of the scream this is when they finally saw i'm not ready for this i think heard. now i'm going to show you guys the first initial photo she sent okay. me and then i'll show you guys okay, the okay. version now, this is I don't see anything, but it is dark. You can see there the silhouette. I can see something. something standing there. Now, this is the more light. Oh, that is eerie. You start to make out something just there. Now, here's when I started to get really creeped out. I mean, this is a legit woman standing there with a veil. That's on clearly head, screaming in the that's middle. That's clearly of the night. a screenshot, there's too, a from like a FaceTime call. Totally make out a face beneath the veil. What do you guys think? I think that kind of looks like this ghost I used to use all the time in my thumbnails. I'm gonna see if I can find an image of her. So this is the image I'm talking about. This is basically what I think that kind of looks like. Wait, that really looks like that image. It could be a ghost. It could absolutely be a ghost, but the minute that I saw that brightened, I was like, I've used that photo. Does that make any sense? I love Tati's creepy stories. I have um, watched so many videos from her and have, I think, included some here in like the scary and haunted side of TikTok before. But this one, I while I do believe it's a screenshot, I don't know if I believe that wasn't edited after the fact. Like, between the two, okay, La Llorona, Loey Lane, scary ghost, thumbnail PNG. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm buying it, girlies. I don't know. I don't know what I think. Down to our final two TikToks, and they're both from Gina Suave. Suave? Um, and I'm really excited to watch these. I, again, had a ton of tags in them. So I just get home from Target. I'm picking up a pickup order, and I'm coming in the door to, like, bring in my groceries. And I'm on the phone with my grandma, and my husband is at work, and I'm like on the phone with her and I'm like putting everything away and whatever and I hear like boom 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 like three loud booms oh boy and my grandma on the phone my elderly grandma who like already doesn't hear well when you're in person she goes what was that and I'm frozen frozen and I'm like I don't know and she's like is Hunter home 
which is my mm-hmm. husband. And I'm like, no. She's there alone. And she's like, it's okay. Because I'm, I'm going like this. I'm going, uh, uh, because I'm scared. I'm terrified. And and she goes, well, maybe it's the cats because I have two cats. And I look next to me and both my cats are there. So I'm like, Grandma, it's not the cats. I don't know what to do. And she's like, well, maybe it's someone outside. Like, you know, like maybe someone's still lighting off fireworks. And I was like, no. like Grandma's trying like so hard fell. to like make and it she's better. Like, yeah, it did sound like something fell. And I'm like, oh, my God. <sighs> so I'm like, stay on the phone with me. I'm going to go search through my house. Not the basement, though, because I'm too scared to go in the basement. So I'm searching through the main floor and I'm looking at my bedroom, the, the spare bedroom, our office, the bathroom, and the two hallway closets, like all the rooms that are left on the main floor. And I'm trying to look for something that could have like fallen on the floor or whatever to make that noise. And I don't see anything like out of the norm. So I tell my grandma that and she's like, why don't you check one more time? Like the, you were kind of scared. You were going really fast look through everything one more time i'll stay on the phone with you but take your time and look through things because i'm sure a that's book a great like idea something <laughs> fell great idea because it was really loud i look again and that's really what got me i'm so scared i just got my husband crying oh no i open up our hallway closet i'm gonna show you guys and the attic latch is wide open okay it's open and i yell on the phone with my grandma Grandma, the attic is open. And as soon I'm like, as soon as I'm yelling that, it goes boom and it shuts. Like all the way shut now. So. Oh no. Like is someone living up there? Oh no. Like this is my hallway. It's a mess oh, back no. there because we literally just got back from another country. But this is like our closet. And that is the attic door. And that's what was like slid open. How could someone even get in and out of there if they were living there? Okay, I'm dying for the update, so I'm going to save my my commentary until after we watch the next one. Okay, I'm so sorry. I feel like I never do a part two, but, like, I literally think someone's living inside my attic. From my last this is video, terrifying. this is, like, my hallway closet where I was, I just heard a loud boom, and, like, this attic door was, like, slid open. How would someone And even get I'm, like, there? freaking out, and I'm, like, on the phone with my grandma, and all of a sudden it, like, boom, slides shut. So, my grandma and grandpa come over, and they get, like, the little pull-down ladder thing, and I'm sobbing, and my grandma's like, I'm sure it's nothing, like, there's a draft, it's windy, whatever, and I'm like, no, grandma, because Uh, weird, like, this happens all the time, and she knows because I call her crying, or, you know, we'll call her and, like, tell her the things that are happening, so basically, we're not really sure. My grandpa looked up there. He didn't, like, go all the way up there, but he, like, took the top off. I wouldn't be able to not go, like, all the way in there and sleep at night. I, uh... He literally said nothing is up there. Like, not not a single animal, not... I mean, I hope not an animal, but, like, literally no person, like, nothing. And he said that the floor is not, like, hard. It's not, like, um... Like... I don't know how to explain it. I kept giving him my phone. I was like, please take a picture. But my grandpa, like, literally does not know how to work a freaking smartphone. Um, Basically, that the floor is, like, all insulation. So nothing could or should be, like, making loud noises up there. Oh, dear. So I don't really know. If anybody, please, like, has any suggestions on what to do or Uh. what even to think, I'm wide open because... This is probably Wait. the most scared I've ever been inside my house. My house is haunted. Like, the previous owner died. Oh, no. Here, so. Oh, dear. Bestie, it's not somebody living in your attic. You just have a very confused ghost. Like, if there's not insulation up there, if somebody, like, can't be, like, stomping around or, like, making big, loud noises up there, I don't know if anyone even could be living up there. I also, the way that that attic is positioned, I feel like you you wouldn't be able to, like, miss somebody living in your house because them coming down i mean unless there's like an alternate access point maybe there is maybe i don't fully understand but like how would someone even be able to get in and out of there like easily you know that sounds paranormal to me and sounds absolutely terrifying but honest to god if that had happened to me if my attic had just like closed while i was looking at it like oh my god it's open and it just like slammed shut that would have just been the last day for me at that home uh it's someone else's now you can just have it there you all have it 20 of the scariest paranormal haunted tiktoks that i came across recently i wasn't sure if these were all gonna be paranormal but honestly looking back at them i think 
all of them are actually, or they're all believed to be paranormal anyways. I've really been enjoying a more laid back approach to the haunted side of TikTok. I think that I got a little burnt out with like the way that I was doing these videos before and I think I was really over complicating it. So if you guys could help me out by giving the video a thumbs up, that would mean a lot to me just to let me know you still like me doing these just like this. Before I go, I want to say a really special thank you to my subscribers who are members of this channel. If you want to join the channel memberships and get extra members exclusive perks such as members exclusive videos, updates, members polls to help me decide on future videos, my like diary entries, and so much more, you can click that little join button. It should be somewhere around the screen, probably right next to the subscribe button. We would love to have you. For now, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all very, very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!